What's up guys, Gary7 here and welcome to episode 26 of my City Skyline Let's Play series here on Devon Valley. So in the last episode we have an absolute nightmare with building this here canal system. As you can see it's still not filled in. Um, even with the rain it's not making any difference. You can see it's flowing down and that. So what I'm going to do off camera is I'm actually going to try and level this out and then get the canal reset back in. So it will mean taking out the entire canal system, levelling it up to down here going all the way across following the same line because we're going to put it back in the same place hopefully it will let me out to delete too many roads um, and there once I've done that I'll be back so we can see what I've done I've taken a fair while to do this but we've now got this leveled in place I'm going to show you along it I'm still letting it build up because literally I've just finished it so we've got some bits and bobs here which we're going to need to terraform and sort out that but for now I'm going to just leave it because we've got the canal in place which is what we wanted. We've got a little bit of flooding happening at the moment here which is waiting for it all to even itself out. Um, that was the last bit I did which is why it's still flooded. You can see it's calming down. Uh, it goes all the way across to the lake. So once that is finished settling itself I might need to terraform a little bit here as well um, but we should then be able to start adding ferry stops in. We'll probably do some here you know, connecting up to the industry unit. Um, I did have to move the hub, uh, the cargo hub from here I moved it down to actually where the industry is and I've redone all these roads as one way so I can actually show you quickly if I bring up the roads um, any one way will do. You can see now I've got a way in and then they loop around and then this goes into one big circle and then they have to go, choose here left or right. If they don't want to go to the cargo hub they'll go left uh, but then it goes down and then they've got obviously their two way access to go across to downtown and obviously up to all the roundabouts here or then the out which is here again. So it's working at the moment the traffic is getting a bit busy here because obviously everybody using the cargo station is going along this road we might have to change it possibly so they have to come in at the bottom that could work we could completely you know get rid of this junction have it have having have them having to come off the roundabout because it's quite quiet at the moment i actually think that could work quite well if we, there was a fall then i'll do that to a fall unfortunately on console there isn't any fall so you know we have to just deal with that. We can leave that um you know and stop there either. Um we do need to keep an eye on this though and just see how it goes. Um we're probably gonna just stop there and stop there because that'd make more sense. And then again the way out I've got a stop light just for now because it might get busy. So we've got to let that clear up. The canal has finally filled in. It's actually flowing pretty well here now. We can't change this or we could change it but it's because of the fact that this is quite a steep slope it would mean terraforming this all flat getting rid of this edge you know doing a really sharp edge which I don't think would look right this could just be an entrance in and out hopefully this will calm down and make it a bit nicer rather than having a waterfall there but you know we might not even use too many stops along here but we've got a canal finally up and working it took a lot longer than I was expecting Ferry lines, I think, have all been deleted, so I might have to put them back in a second. Let's have a check on that. No, nope, we've still got our stops, so that's fine. They are running. We're not getting too many people, you know, 96 per week. But it's not too... Oh, no, 15 per week, sorry, we're getting at the moment. And free tourists, which isn't a lot at all. But, you know, it's giving people the option of getting into this district. We could do a walkway across. I did want to put another stop the other side, so... I'm not sure. Probably wouldn't fit to. Oh well, yeah, you can actually. So what we'll do is quickly terraform this down with this tool. Choose the edge, and we'll flatten out a nice part here. Get the same level. Because it's not flooding now, we should be okay with doing this. We might have to heighten up around the back end just to make sure. Why is it keep putting it up like that? You know what I mean? We don't want it high. We want it low. Um, so let's maybe get rid of some more of this. Hang on. I'm going to go quite far. Yes, it's flooding at the moment, so let's pause that a second. Let's quickly grab a ferry stop and see if... See, every time we're going to put it in, it's going up stupidly high. So I have to put it down there. Then we'll get our terraform tool again. And we will bring this all back up to level. I will get rid of this little bit here. But yeah, we'll do that just while it's still flooding until the water's actually settled itself down. We're going to get a bit of flooding over here, but 
again it's going to happen until the water's had a chance to completely settle uh, I want a nice road for them to go along so we'll choose this one fortunately you can't change these which kind of sucks um, but we can actually connect this in I think keeping that straight and then curving like so and then like so would work and then we can go up across to the top here maybe go across our big old this here again if you haven't seen it is from when we had our earthquake we've left it as a reminder um, we could come out here then we can go across this with a little bridge this foot is going to be just in the way so we need to quickly move this like I'm going to probably put it here actually let's actually zoom out and see do we need it too close? No, that would work fine there in fact we can put it right there and then hopefully that's still got power uh, yeah let's get back on with this road and then we're going to run just a straight road all the way along here come back a few I'm going to curve it then into there so that's going to work, it's a bit lumpy at the moment but it's because we're trying to stop the flooding we then need to just add some stops so let's grab our ferry lines uh, this one we could actually add a stop here so boom they've just got an extra stop so that would work fine I don't know if we need this pink line anymore I need to actually check a second from my info view the pink lines literally have no passengers so we can delete that one and just leave it running with just the one line for now um, so yeah so far I've done this you've probably not seen much of it because obviously I've done a lot of it off camera this little bit here again we might have to just terraform this all flat and then have like a cliff edge here I'll see what it looks like I'm going to do it with you guys on camera because why not so we need to delete that and that and that one this is all a shallow canal so let's will it allow us to do it yes yes so we can get to here and then this is too steep here so this is what we need to change um, so we could probably do something like that and then choose our canal again just going for a shallow one just because yeah that's actually gonna work we might have sorted out already just by moving a few little bits let's keep this running fast we'll keep this running and then see how it goes on again we might get some flooding but it doesn't actually look like it's going to be too bad um, or maybe we're going to change this one to a medium one because we are getting quite a bit of flooding down this bottom but again because of the way the, the land is it shouldn't actually matter too much it's just going to take time for this to all settle down we'll do medium medium and then we'll leave that into shallow and then hopefully this will fill up right one thing I want to do is actually change our bus hub so current or bus depot currently we've got the standard one but we can actually change it for a biofuel one so I want to place this on this road I want to actually change it for that one so if we pause it for a second this is going to be a test it might fail completely but we're going to delete that one and place a new one the hope is that this will just send out the buses that are required um, if we click on it no buses in use so we might have actually ruined our entire bus line oh no there you go they're actually sending them out now so we're getting quieter buses and more eco-friendly so that's awesome we'll only be using them so let's put the standard airport down here so too steep a slope so we're going to have to terraform which to be honest is what we've been doing most of the time anyway so we're going to level it up to the road level up to the road we're going to increase the strength increase the size and we're going to just bring it all around like so we're going to have to bring all this down something we're going to have to do is just make this look better by using the slope tool that we did before Again, we'll bring it up to like about there so again a nice flat zone have a road could be on a hill so this is what we did over 
Yeah, so that doesn't look too bad. This is what we did over here, but obviously a lot more dramatically. We could even bring the road down a little bit if we need to, to let the airport get in a bit better, because even with it there, it's going to be a hell of a climb for them to get out the other end. So let's actually bring the road down a little bit more, get straight road on. Bring it to about here. And then we will place the airport around there, would work quite well. Again, I'm going to put it right on the end. And then we think they'll be able to make it past that. We'll get rid of this wind turbine. That's a definite thing that needs moving. Um, it's just in the way there. We could put it. They, hardly, they don't get any power there at all. Uh, we'll put it down where our, all of our turbines are. In our turbine factory, as it were. Look at all of them. Um, and then we'll just connect this up with the straight power lines. You know, we've been doing that around. It doesn't look the best, but if it works and does the job, then you know we can't complain too much. Put it into there, and then just connect straight up to there. That's boom. That's done. We need to get a power line connecting up the airport. Um, we can just connect this for now. With a straight line down to here. I want it just before the rails and then we can hopefully bring it across to there and then boom so that's connecting that up they're going to need water because we don't have any water down here again we'll just connect onto that I'm going to actually run it along here because I'm probably going to put some shops and things in at some point again we'll grab that one and we'll go why is it already occupied? I know it's occupied, that's why I'm trying to connect to it. Right, yeah. So it can't even connect to the nose, which is a bit stupid at the moment. There we go. Grab off that one. Run down there like so. And we're going to do our lane, line, line, our road across here. Probably connect up around there. We might even connect up just at the bottom here. Um, but let's just get some pipes in, make sure we've covered the majority of the area, even if not all of it, that little bit's fine. And then we can do the road down this side. Again, we'll go out straight all the way along here, along that line. I think if we want it to come in on the hill, maybe between these buildings, or we could have it coming in down here. There's nothing here, but let's think that would work going to curve it now like so I'm not sure if I'll be able to do this going a bit close to the railway line there but again it will be okay uh, I'll have to reconnect up this power line we'll let this run and hopefully this will start bringing in some more things these are more of a, a normal you know, passengers come and go from the city by plane. So this is just a, a, that, but this one here is the international one. So this brings, you know, foreign visitors rather than just standard, um, you know, the same country as it were. So this is more of like a small, like, one, as it were. Um, we're going to get some little shops around the edging. We could actually probably get a train. No, we don't need the train on because there's one just up the road. That'll be fine. But definitely get a few shops down here. Just before we end the episode, I'm quickly going around and checking my levels of my building. So I've got a few here that aren't quite max level. Um, again, the max level ones will have more citizens and, th and things like that. So again, I think down here as well, if we check, they're not quite there yet. Um, so the way to increase the citizens now is to actually add like parks, plazas, bus routes and things like that. So there's no bus routes or anything around here. So we could, oh there is actually, there's one um, one bus, one metro line and again the train station just opposite we could add some random stuff to it or we could add things like parks so if we get the parks, we've got a couple parks here already but again a few more is definitely not going to hurt um, again I think we'll probably place that one there just because of the size of it Again, if they go green, it means they're happy. If they're happy, it means they're going to hopefully expand. I'm going to put a garden there. I know it's a bit of a random place. Got a lot of people there actually using the bus. And then we could maybe place another one. I want one down here, but it's. I don't want to delete the building. The idea is to actually upgrade these buildings. 
So if I place that one on that road, we get a theme park, again, not too sure noise-wise. Let's have a look. No noise pollution at all. Okay, so that's fine. We've already got one down in the other district. Can't place it there because of the train lines. Um, again, that's not going to work, actually, to be honest. It's too big. But let's have a look to see if these are going to maybe upgrade because we've placed a park down near them. So it's literally just this one here. Uh, these ones as well. We could build a little road in here and do some, you know, I don't think I don't think footpaths add anything to it, but there's no harm in trying. You know, just to try and get some sort of connections across. Yeah, people are upgrading already because there's a footpath opposite their house. Um, you know, we could maybe run a footpath then from here, quite the back nicely, and across to here, so people that want to walk to their work there can. I don't think many people will use that to be honest though. Um, transport loops or routes in this area I think mainly we're going to have to stick with buses just because of what's around so maybe we could do another loop going the other way okay so we just added that new line which is if we click on the info view um, we're going to look for the highest number I'm going to presume it's this one let's check yep it's this one here so this one we're going to obviously use the biofuel bus we can't do anything other than that I'm going to leave it as red I'm going to leave it as it is for now but this is going to be like the sycamore loop it's literally just going on the outside I heard people ping so I'm hoping that's going to be enough to make these guys upgrade you can hear them there all these guys are upgrading so that's one thing that's actually really good to hear that these are really close to upgrading just a little bit more they need to upgrade um, do we have room for a plaza, even a small one, just somewhere along here? And that radius might be big enough to up, you know, it does that a lot, just about does there. Again, plazas are really good for upgrading. We'll do some there. Um, we can maybe do one across the back here. That's massive area of effect as well, which is really, really good. I'm going to actually put one down here as well not checked too much again we've got these people at the back which are quite low by the look of it um, so let's check on these yes yeah, so they're not quite f high enough yet to upgrade um, let me have a look on our info view again so yeah the, it's all of this back part here to be honest all of these down here as well are pretty low so we could maybe get rid of one of these build a road in road with trees they always like them I'm gonna do a straight road. I might just do a single road coming out here just as a way of getting you know parks and things near these people. So we're just gonna do a little loop like that. I reckon we could to be honest loop around the bottom end here, have a way in and out so it doesn't look too random. You know let's connect to there and then we can connect that up. So you know there's a bit of a loop there, there's a reason for it being there then which is one thing. And now if we go back to our parks and plazas, we could add a plaza over here because they've got such a large area of effect I think they're really worth putting in we could put a dog park beside the plaza we could put botanical gardens just opposite the entrance there again that should hopefully be enough we'll check transport routes I don't think they've got any really in here so no we could again get a bus line in it's just a way of upgrading all of this here so we think we just want it around this loop so we could start one here we can stop on the corner we can stop by the schools and things stops there again we could go down to the shops and double back on ourselves but it's the turning around that's the issue there so we have a stop just here we'll have a stop on that corner and we'll have a stop there on the before the one-way system we'll stop I want to stop just literally opposite that junction but we'll have to do one beside it and then we'll do one where there's a gap already for I think that's pedestrian walkway so that'd be good opposite the one way again it's just going to be a loop one we're not going to go too far in you can already hear the people upgrading so adding these stops is definitely a key thing to do and then we'll just literally have a loop going around Sycamore Park well it's actually Oak Square sorry again Beechwood Park should be okay upgrade upgrade wise upgrade wise because they've got a lot of stuff anyway it's probably just these ones yeah these are the newer ones 
so again plazas we've not got any plaza down here I know that because I haven't been actually placing them we've got lots of parks though so I'm going to put a plaza right on the end by these houses it doesn't really hit these people too much so that's fine we can do a second one there we're going to wait and see whether they upgrade but again we've got this we need to add water make sure these are all connected up with piping again it's so close yet yeah, so far but then you can hear all these people upgrading as soon as they upgrade you know there's more people in this the in our town or city we still need to get these guys to upgrade more um so i'm not too sure what we could do maybe we can stick a path that goes just like so i don't think paths make any difference if i'm honest but it's worth trying and if it does make a difference happy days we've got you know the upgrades which is what we're after um, we could run a footpath all the way along down here to this to be honest along the back of these buildings connect to our park you can then you know just boom that might give them a way across so they don't have to walk everywhere but the to be honest they're just going across to the other metro there anyway um, but yeah this episode again we've done our new airport over here we've got an issue for workers but that's always an issue that will sort itself out in time we also finally sorted out our canal system you can see now it's nice and smooth again it's a bit bumpy in places but it's working we've not done any lines down here until it's fully settled um but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this episode let me know if you want me to start the new series soon again i'm still trying to hit a hundred thousand residents but it's really difficult to get a uh, hundred thousand i'm finding at the moment they just keep up uh, dropping uh you know i'm getting 97 thousand then 96 and it's just going up and down at the moment um, which is why I'm checking all of this and upgrading what I can you know getting more people in these again all maximum level low density building but these are you know the nice looking ones again our offices all max level so this whole area is doing absolutely fine with regards to upgrading and everything it's just more of our older areas even down here you can see look they're really dark which means they're fully upgraded in our area down here as well downtown that's really good these ones aren't quite up enough yet we could again just stick in a plaza they work and we could you know delete a couple of buildings get a nice plaza there and again we could stick a plaza in around here again I don't want to delete too much especially train lines and stuff like that so we've got to find a decent place to put these but you know all these little bits we can do off camera our city's growing nicely we're just at the point now where we're at so many residents it's keeping them alive and keeping you know our residential demand and everything under control we've got plenty of residential demand and zoning in you know we've got our district down here zoned up but as soon as we do it it's actually as soon as we do this one which i did just now i'm not showing anybody it's zoned in straight away so again we'll do that do we have many more up here green space you know there's not really anywhere we can put housing here um, we could probably do some housing along this ridge to be honest let's have a look you know why don't we do some along here it's a bit steep but it should be okay we can get rid of the wind turbine let's move that one straight away over to our turbine farm and then we can go back over here and choose he's saying it's not connected but I don't think it needs to be to be honest we're connected everywhere else so we can delete that line I think actually up on this hill high density would be better than low but again we'll do some high at the back by these offices like that you can already hear upgrades happening we'll do some low density on the edge um, that'll be absolutely fine we can maybe do a single one there I did forget to say as well, obviously, now we've added this airport around the outside, we've added our tram line, we've upgraded it to four lanes, so obviously cars can keep going around it, so that's all now connecting up this district, so our hillside district is now connected up with trams, the airport's connected up to the end of line train hub and everything like that, so it's keeping everything running. We've been working on obviously getting the houses to upgrade over here, um, but it's taking time as always with everything. Over here is not too bad, again our chestnut district is building in nicely, every time we zone it in it's filling straight in as you can see, so I'm going to have to do some more of that off camera later. Um, again we also did the canal so now it's all flat 
um, and smooth it should hopefully fill in nicely but we're gonna have to leave this for a you know an episode or two just to let it settle itself down give it time to build up and that um, and hopefully that works well but for now guys that is about it if you enjoyed this episode hit that like button if you are new please do drop a sub and a follow and i will be back again soon with some more city skylines but until then guys thank you very much for watching i'll catch you again soon bye bye